Welcome to part three of the Ableton Essential Key Commands for Music Production. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, we're back in the third part of the Ableton Key Command series. These are some of the most essential key commands, in my opinion, for Ableton that I use day in and day out. If you missed part one and part two, I'll leave you a link in the description. Go check that out. And if you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments because I can go on for days with Ableton key commands. And it's always great for me to learn more too. I don't know all of them. There's a lot. So if you're also interested in possibly learning about Pro Tools commands for all you Pro Tools users, I've been an avid user of Pro Tools for a long time and I can do those as well. Drop me a comment. Let's get into it. All right, here we have the same session where we left off and I have a bunch of stuff going on here. So I had these loops going and let's say I want to split this off and insert silence. It's as simple as command I and then you get a set time to insert. So I could say like, oh, I want four bars and boom, there is my four bars. And as you can see, my grids on eight to one. We're going to lower that so it looks a little different. There's four bars right there. And you can keep doing that wherever you want. Let's say I want two bars there. There you go. And that's a great one to insert silence. Okay, let's say I'm working with MIDI and we just drew these notes in last time. Let's throw some of these off times. How do we get off the grid? Command four once again. I wanna throw some of these off time. Let's say I played it all wacky. I'll put the grid back on. And if I hit command A, like we learned about in part two, say I wanna quantize this real quick without having to use the menu. Just hit command U and now the notes moved to the nearest grid point and Obviously, it follows the quantization settings in the edit window, but usually I have mine set pretty standard. So I can always just hit command U if I want to quantize. I don't find I always quantize. A lot of times when I play stuff, I try to leave things a little off the grid and play it naturally. But quantize can be a useful feature at times, especially if I want to select certain notes and quantize those and get them on the grid. That's how you can do it. Command U. All right, let's get into another one. Let's say I've got this clip here and I want to reverse it. Sure, I can go all the way down here and find this little button and hit it, but that's not so fast. Let's Command Z undo that, select this, and then just hit R. And now I've reversed the whole thing with just one button click. So remember that, R for reverse. Okay, here's another good one. If I want to map a parameter, say, to a MIDI controller, I can easily turn on the MIDI control mapping screen by just hitting Command M. And you see here the MIDI mapping just went on and everything turns purple. And then I can select something and then click that and move, you know, on my controller. I have a keyboard right below here. I could hit one of the knobs and then it's now mapped to that knob on that MIDI controller. So Command M will toggle that mode on and off. That is how you can enable MIDI mapping. Okay, here's another good one that I bet you don't know. This one is to show and hide your browser. So let's just pretend that I am working and, you know, I've got a busy screen. I could go up here and just use the arrow. That's an easy way to do it. But another easy way to do it is Command-Alt-B. And that will turn on and off this browser area so you can freely work and have a bigger arrangement view. This one was an uncommon one and I didn't know that one for quite some time. I always just moused over to the arrow. And sure, if you're fast with your mouse and you might have it on a high speed like I do, it can be rather quick. But if you don't wanna lift your hands off that keyboard, that's another way to do it. Let's say I'm playing the track, I hit space bar, which I don't even know if I discussed space bar is play. So that's another essential key command. I feel like everyone knows that one, so I might have overlooked that. Apologies, but spacebar can start and stop. And if I hit stop, it obviously goes, the cursor moved along. But if I hit spacebar again, it picks up at that cursor. Now, if I hold shift and hit spacebar, it will pick up where it left off. So you see how I'm doing that? I'm just holding shift and I'm hitting spacebar and it's playing right where it left off where it stopped. So that's another good one. If you wanna to toggle the playback from the start stop position versus this cursor position. If I wanna zoom in, I can hold command and use my wheel. Now I showed you how to hold shift and move left to right, but if I wanna zoom in, I can hold command and zoom in. Another cool one is if I hold option 
and use the wheel on the mouse, I can make this bigger and smaller. So those are some great key commands to quickly move around the, the arrangement view. And let's say I want to fine tune some of my automation. So I just zoomed in, made it bigger, but it's kind of moving at a, you know, weird increments. I can hold shift and it'll just move at the smallest increment here. And that's a way to do fine tune adjustments. You see that it's moving very slow, fine tune. So hold shift and drag and your fine tune control turns on. Here's another one. Let's say I select this area here, but I'm not in the right spot. If I move the arrow, I can fine tune things over and notice how the automation is moving with it. Pretty interesting, huh? Let's make the grid bigger and then you can see that it's just moving along and then I can hold shift and make this bigger and move it along too. And this is a cool way to get some interesting editing capabilities. So left and right goes each way and then look at that. If I let go, I can move along the grid. So those are some cool ways to adjust automation. Remember A will turn the automation on and off. And then if I just hold this, look at separated it all in one shot, that's holding command left and right. If I hold shift, this is a very cool one because what I'm doing now is I'm moving the audio in the clip without moving the actual clip itself. If you see the clip below is moving, but the actual, the selection is moving, let me correct myself, but the actual clip is staying in place. So that's a great one to use as well. And then if I hold shift option, I am selecting very large pieces here. And then if I go up and down, I can select multiple regions. And so play around. You could do a lot with shift option and command and the arrows. Now let's play around with something else. I'm going to turn my automation on and you know, let's say I don't like what I did here, but I want to bring this together and this is one loop here. So I could hold command shift and delete and then it just brings everything over. And that's a great way to bring a whole section, delete a whole section and have the whole thing come over. So that's a very essential key command for me right there. Last but not least, let's say I like what I've done here and I am going to just export. If I hit command shift R, this is the render window or export audio and video. And I made a whole video on this window back in my Ableton tutorials way back in the day. I'll leave you a link down below, but that's a quick way to open up this window. Once again, that's command shift R. And another cool trick that I sometimes I'll do is I'll export MIDI. So if I just want to export this MIDI clip, I could just do command shift E. And now you see that I've got the save MIDI clip as window open. So this was part three of my essential Ableton key commands. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want me to do more on Ableton key commands, shoot me a comment down below. Thank you for watching this video on essential Ableton key commands for music production. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and the bell notification will keep you up to date. My name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering, and if you need help with your mastering, be sure to check the link below for a free stereo mastered sample. I always offer it to first time clients. Now, my name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering once again. Thank you for watching and have a good day.